Welcome back to another episode of Proko. My name is Stan Prokopenko. In this lesson, you'll learn how to draw the forms of the upper back muscles. The trapezius. Last time, you learned the origins, insertions, three key portions, and tendinous areas of the trapezius. But knowing how to track the muscles from origin to insertion is not enough. You should be able to visualize the 3D forms. There's many different masses to consider not to mention how they change in different poses. The shoulders have incredible mobility, and depending on how the scapula is positioned, the trapezius might bulge out around it or stretch thinly toward it. The top portion. On the back of the neck are two vertical cylinders separated by the nuchal ligament. On the surface, you'll see the vertical indentation expand to the flat diamond or teardrop shape of the tendon. In the middle of that tendon is the seventh cervical vertebra, a very important bony landmark. It's important to study areas of the back that are tendinous to understand the bumps, where the muscles protrude, and where the tendons stay flat. The big shape of this tendon will appear flat. Its flatness makes the trapezius muscle mass look thicker by contrast. Like how you look smarter when you're with your stupid friend. The two vertical cylinders thicken as they flow down to insert on the clavicles, which is visible in the front in certain poses even on non-muscular people. While we're on anterior view, here's a basic figure drawing tip. Don't draw the shoulders at a right angle with the neck. The skeleton might look that way, sure, but the traps come down from the back of the skull at a soft curve to insert on the far edge of the shoulder. It's a nice sloping angle from neck to shoulders. If you draw it at a right angle, it will make your figure look like a groundhog. On a muscular person, the traps will bulge out at the acromion process. This makes a kind of smooth then sudden rhythm at the top of the shoulders. The deltoids start where the traps end and create a double curve contour. The middle portion. The next one down is the middle portion that travels horizontally from the bottom half of the tendon to the spine of the scapula, like a cone. Oftentimes, it will blend with the upper portion, but on muscular figures, it can appear distinctly individual. This thickness is very obvious on muscular people, but will be plain to see even on lean people if the scapulas are pulled upward and inward and the traps are flexed. The spine of the scapula is subcutaneous and flat, but the muscle on top of it is overflowing like a muffin top. Um, a muscular muffin top. The lower portion. Let's take a look at the lower portion. This mass can bulge out, but it isn't as spherical as the mass above the scapula. We'll talk more about the mass between the scapulas in a few minutes, since a lot of that mass is actually the rhomboid. At the corner of the scapula, where the bottom portion inserts, the tendon will cut out a C-curve. I use this shape a lot to identify the corner of the scapula, which then leads to the medial edge and spine of the scapula. This shape is very prominent, especially when the muscle is flexing. The tail of the trapezius won't always follow the expected path. Sometimes when the rhomboid is active, the trapezius slides off it toward the spine. So you might see a subtle edge of the trapezius wrapping around the medial side of the rhomboid. Speaking of rhomboid, the rhomboid. The form of the rhomboid is very simple. As you know, the tail of the trapezius covers most of the rhomboid. It mostly serves to add mass to the area between the scapula, but as we mentioned, the tail of the trapezius is thin. So sometimes you will see the shape of the rhomboid pushing through as an oblique bulge. Not sure if you're looking at the trapezius or rhomboid? Think about the direction of the muscle fiber. They have perpendicular oblique angles. In this photo, you can see the rhomboid on the left side and the trapezius on the right side. What about when they're both active? Sometimes you might see them both equally. Here's the bottom of the rhomboid and here's the tail of the trapezius. When we don't understand the forms of the upper back, 
we end up just shading isolated blobs. But think about the complete shape of the trapezius and rhomboid and try to create a rhythm or flow between the masses. Show where it's coming from and where it's going. That's it. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back because you've learned all the back muscles or at least all the back muscles you should know as an artist. If you're a surgeon, you should probably keep studying. Assignment. Your assignment is to do quick sketch drawings showing the motion and form of the upper back. For the second bonus part of this assignment, pose Skelly using the Skelly app, then invent the muscles on top. This is a true test of your knowledge because you have no reference to work from. You have to invent the forms based on what you learned in these lessons. You also have to make sure you position the scapula accurately. The app gives you complete freedom to rotate the scapula how you want. So you have to think about the limitations and accuracy of your poses. You can get the quick sketch drawing reference in the link below and the Skelly app at proca.com slash Skelly app. Good luck and most importantly, have fun. So we have a premium section for students that want to learn more. The premium section has extended lessons with more information about the topic. It also has additional drawing demonstrations. If you do the assignments for each lesson, these demonstrations serve as the answers for the assignment, so you can check your work. There's an ebook version of each lesson that you can download as a PDF. Print them out or keep them on your device so you can quickly review the lessons. And finally, the premium section has 3D models that you can spin around, study, and draw from any angle. If you don't want your drawings to look like this, go to proco.com slash anatomy. If you like this video, don't be all selfish. Share it with your friends. And if you want to be updated about new videos, click this button or go to proco.com slash subscribe.